Hello and welcome to Geeks Assemble. This is Mike here. Today I'm going to be looking at a couple of G.I. Joe action figures and doing a little bit of restoration on them. On the right you've, you can see Blowtorch and you can see that he is kind of fallen apart there. Uh, he's the one that we're going to be repairing the most. And then on the left we have Alpine and he's a little loose and so we're going to do a little repair on him as well. I actually did not own Alpine as a child growing up, but he was recently found in a pile of toys that were donated. And then the blowtorch action figure I actually did own as a child, but this is not the same one. This is, an, uh, this is a blowtorch toy that I bought off of eBay. As you can see he's really loose and he's his rubber band, his O-ring, as they're known, has snapped. And so today we're going to do a little bit of a repair job on both of these action figures and make them tight and able to stand again on their own. For that, I've purchased some O-rings. Uh, a lot of people who repair G.I. Joe's recommend uh, some different O-rings. These are the O-rings that I have purchased. They were recommended uh, by a group of G.I. Joe enthusiasts that I'm a part of a group on Facebook with. This is the number 210 O-ring and I purchased this at Home Depot. There's six in a package. So to do this restoration I'm going to adjust this a little bit and get these out of the way so that we can do some of the work here. In order to repair Blowtorch, I've got to replace the O-ring inside. This is what held together the 1980s and 90s G.I. Joe action figures. They use a different method today for action figures in this size, the 3 and 3 quarter inch action figure. Uh, but the O-ring was the preferred method for Hasbro at this time. Blowtorch was released in 1984 as part of their Real American Hero G.I. Joe line. No one's home but me. You know now, fire! Call the fire department! Not from in there! Blowtorch! If there's a real fire in your house, your first job is to escape immediately. Fire spreads quickly. Call the fire department from outside the house. From a neighbor's phone! You got it. You're both safe. Your advice really hit home. Now I know. And knowing is half the battle. Uh, and he was one of my childhood favorites. And so I'm going to repair him and I will again have a nice blowtorch action figure uh, to display. In order to begin the process you have to actually take him apart and if you look in the back of every G.I. Joe action figure there is a hole here. Uh, often they will wear a backpack of some sort uh, and it's held on through the hole uh, with a peg like so and they will wear their backpack on their back using that hole. Uh, but if you look inside, there is a little screw in there. So we're going to unscrew him and take him apart, and I will show you what it looks like with the O-ring. And I'm trying to be really careful because oftentimes these can get stripped and they fall apart. So there's the little screw. I'm going to carefully pull him apart. Okay, so as you can see inside he looks pretty good. Uh, it's not stripped, which is good. And there's the o-ring that sits around his body. And as you can see it's broken. So it's actually not a rubber band. A lot of people think that it's a rubber band, but it's not. It's a o-ring. And we're gonna try out one of these O-rings that I purchased at Home Depot to see how well it works. So if you look carefully, the O-ring I purchased is just a little bit bigger than the one that uh, was in it originally. So I'm hoping that it uh, will be tight enough and that it won't uh, be too loose using this O-ring. But like I said, these are the O-rings that were recommended to me in my G.I. Joe Facebook page group that I'm a part of. So what we do is we take the O-ring and we're going to loop it around 
and get it fitted in there. It's got to pull down through the bottom of the torso in order to fit around all of the uh, pieces that it, that it holds together. So once I do this, I'm going to hold it in place with another screwdriver. And then I'm going to carefully put the pieces back together here. Make sure I put the arms in the right place. As well as the head here. Can be kind of fiddly to get together. And now this is the fun part. The legs have a metal hook on them and you've got to somehow loop this hook over this black piece but do it through his waist. So as you can see, I was able to get the o-ring on and his waist and legs are all attached again and uh, he does stand firm as he once did. His legs don't flop uh, around because he is tightly put back together. And so now I'm going to repeat the process here and do the same thing for this alpine figure because his legs are wobbly and wiggly. As you can see, his o-ring is not busted, it's just very worn out, thin. So we're going to put a new o-ring in him, just to give him some stability. We're going to do him the other, uh, the other way. There's two ways you can repair the o-ring. The first is the way I was doing it, by stretching it through the bottom of the torso and using a screwdriver to pry it in through uh, the waist and to bring his legs up. The second way is to take it like this, and I actually think this is the easier way. You take it up through the legs like this, and then you wrap it up into the torso, like so, and hold it in place while you put the arms back on. So as you can see, I have repaired successfully both of my G.I. Joe action figures here. Uh, both the one that I had found in a pile of toys and then this one here uh, that I purchased off of eBay. As you can see, the, both of these guys stand a little bit better, stand a little taller, and they're quite nice. I know that this blowtorch action figure will have a good spot on my shelf, as well as the Alpine. I still need to purchase his accessories that he came with, uh, but that's something that I'll be working on as I can find those on eBay or find someone to trade with. But if you ever have an O-ring issue with your G.I. Joe action figures, uh, they're very easy to replace, um, very easy to fix if they break or are just stretched out so much that it's loose. Uh, again, just purchased some of these. I think it cost me like, I don't know, maybe $2, two, $2.50, somewhere in there, $2.50 to purchase these O-rings. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. And I've got a few more now for uh, future uh, fixes if I ever have an issue with these again. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time.